The process begins with the preparation of raw materials, which primarily includes silica sand, soda ash, limestone, and cullet, recycled glass. These materials are carefully sourced to meet specific quality standards. Silica sand is the key ingredient, providing the silica necessary to form glass. Once the raw materials are prepared, they are weighed and mixed in precise proportions according to the specific type of glass being produced. This mixture, known as the batch, is thoroughly blended to ensure uniformity. The accuracy of the batching process is crucial as it directly affects the quality and characteristics of the final glass product. The batch is then transferred to a furnace, where it is heated to temperatures ranging from 1,400 to 1,600 degrees Celsius. This intense heat causes the raw materials to melt and fuse together, forming a molten glass. The melting process must be carefully controlled to ensure the glass is free from impurities and bubbles. The molten glass is then allowed to cool slightly before being formed, typically at around 1,200 degrees Celsius. Blow forming is the process used to shape the molten glass into bottles. There are two main methods for this, the blow and blow process and the press and blow process blow and blow process. In this method, a gob of molten glass is dropped into a blank mold where compressed air is used to form a parison, a preliminary shape of the bottle. The parison is then transferred to a final mold where air is again blown into the glass, expanding it into the desired bottle shape. Press and blow process. This method is typically used for wide mouth containers. A gob of glass is pressed into a blank mold with a plunger, forming the parison. The parison is then transferred to a blow mold, where air is used to shape it into the final bottle. After forming, the glass bottles undergo annealing, a controlled cooling process. Bottles are passed through an annealing oven, or layer, where they are gradually cooled to remove internal stresses and prevent cracking. Once annealed, the bottles are subjected to rigorous quality checks. These checks include visual inspections for defects such as cracks, bubbles, or uneven surfaces, as well as automated tests for dimensional accuracy, wall thickness, and capacity. Only bottles that pass these quality control measures are allowed to proceed to the next step. To improve the durability and appearance of the bottles, surface treatments may be applied. This typically involves coating the bottles with a thin layer of material to reduce friction, prevent scratches, and enhance resistance to stress. The final step in the manufacturing process is the packaging and delivery of the glass bottles. The bottles are carefully packed into crates or cartons to protect them from damage during transit. They are then labeled and prepared for shipment to customers, ensuring that they arrive in perfect condition, ready for filling and distribution. A silica sand washing plant is designed to purify and process silica sand to meet specific industrial standards, particularly for glass manufacturing. The process starts with feeding raw silica sand into the plant, where it undergoes multiple stages to remove impurities and achieve the desired quality. The raw material, silica sand, is fed into the plant. This sand typically contains impurities such as clay, silt, and other unwanted minerals. The first step in processing involves the removal of trash materials. These include larger, non-silica components like roots, stones, and other debris. Next, the sand undergoes scrubbing using a shear clean system. This technology agitates the sand particles, helping to break down any remaining clay or silt particles and ensuring that fine impurities are detached from the silica grains. After scrubbing, the material is passed through precision fine screening. This step ensures the separation of fine and coarse particles. Particles that are larger than 600 microns are separated and removed during the screening process. 
After the removal of heavy minerals, the silica sand undergoes final quality checks to ensure it meets the strict specifications required for glass production. The sand must have a high silica content, typically above 99%, with minimal impurities like iron, which can cause discoloration in glass. The refined sand is then dried and sieved, to achieve a uniform particle size distribution. Once these criteria are met, the high-quality glass-grade sand is packaged in bulk bags or other containers, ready for distribution to glass manufacturers. After the removal of heavy minerals, the resulting sand is of high purity and quality, making it suitable for the production of glass. This glass-grade sand is then ready for packaging and distribution, in about 100 words. To ensure sustainability, the plant recycles approximately 95% of the water used in the washing process. Glass manufacturing is a complex and nuanced process, particularly in specialized fields such as technical glass production for laboratories, industry, and medical applications. Hoffman Glass Technic GmbH, with over 50 years of experience, exemplifies the integration of traditional glassblowing craftsmanship with modern industrial production technologies to produce high-quality glass products. At Hoffman Glass Technic, the blend of artisanal skills skill, and advanced technology is not just a practice but a foundational principle. This combination ensures that their glass products meet stringent quality standards necessary for the critical applications they serve. The company's ability to offer both standard products and custom solutions highlights their adaptability and precision in meeting diverse customer needs. One of the key technologies utilized by Hoffman Glass Technic is SPS-controlled glass lathes. These machines allow for precise and reproducible manufacturing processes, ensuring consistent quality across all products. This consistency is crucial, especially in the medical technology sector, where precision and reliability are paramount. The use of controlled lathes also facilitates efficient production, which aligns with the company's commitment to maintaining high quality while being cost-effective. Another significant aspect of their production process is the differentiation between hot and cold processing techniques. Hot processing is used initially to shape and form the glass. However, when the requirements exceed what hot processing can achieve, cold processing methods are employed to refine and finalize the product. This two-stage process ensures that each glass component receives the meticulous attention required to meet specific functional and quality demands. Hoffman Glass Technic is particularly renowned for its expertise in manufacturing glass components like stirring rods and metal-to-glass connections, which are vital in high-vacuum applications. These applications demand an exceptional level of precision and durability, which Hoffman Glass Technic delivers through its extensive experience and specialized techniques. Glass manufacturing in New Zealand is epitomized by the operations at OI New Zealand, the country's only glass-making facility. This plant is part of a global network of 79 glass-making plants spread across 21 countries, operating 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. OI New Zealand plays a critical role in the local industry, providing employment and training opportunities in both mechanical engineering and glass production. The glass manufacturing process at OI New Zealand begins with the use of raw materials like silica sand, soda ash, and limestone, supplemented by recycled glass, which constitutes over half of the input material. These materials are fed into batch hoppers and then into a furnace where they are melted at a scorching 1,600 degrees Celsius. The molten glass is then shaped into sections called gobs, which are further processed into the desired bottle or jar shape through a combination of pressing and blowing techniques. 
The production of glass bottles and jars is highly specialized, requiring skilled personnel who are adept in both mechanical and electrical engineering. This is because the machinery used in glass production is complex, requiring precise calibration and maintenance. Staff at OI New Zealand are trained to understand the intricate workings of this machinery, from the molds that shape the glass to the furnaces that melt it. Maintenance of the molds is a critical aspect of the production process. Damaged molds are repaired through techniques such as spray welding, where metal particles are sprayed onto the mold to rebuild its surface, followed by meticulous filing and grinding to restore the mold to its precise dimensions. This work requires a high degree of manual dexterity and precision. Safety is a top priority at OI New Zealand, given the extreme temperatures and machinery involved in the process. Workers are equipped with protective gear to ensure their safety while handling materials at such high temperatures. OI New Zealand also plays a significant role in training the next generation of engineers and glassmakers. Apprenticeship programs, managed by entities like Competence Trust, provide young workers with the opportunity to gain qualifications in both mechanical engineering and glassmaking. This initiative not only addresses the skills shortage in the industry, but also opens up international career opportunities for the apprentices. Raw materials like silica sand, soda ash, and limestone are carefully treated to remove impurities. In the batch plant, raw materials are precisely weighed, mixed, and homogenized. The float glass line involves forming molten glass into a continuous ribbon on a molten tin bath, resulting in a flat, smooth surface. In the container glass line, molten glass is molded into shapes like bottles and jars. The warehouse stores finished glass products, which can also undergo additional processing, such as cutting, polishing, or coating. This line focuses on producing glass containers, such as bottles and jars. The process begins with raw sand processing where sand is washed and sieved to remove impurities. In the wet process, sand is further refined to achieve the desired purity. In the batch plant, treated sand is transported and combined with other raw materials. Dozing accurately measures the materials, which are then thoroughly mixed. The mixed batch is fed into the furnace, where it melts at around 1,600 degrees Celsius. The molten glass flows onto a float bath of molten tin, forming a flat glass ribbon. The glass is cut to size and inspected for quality before further processing or storage. The furnace melts the glass, which is then formed into containers containers like bottles and jars through molding. These containers are cooled in a layer and inspected. Finished glass is stored, and additional processes like cutting or coating may be applied before shipment. The Horn gas station is a critical infrastructure that supplies and regulates the fuel needed for the float glass furnace. It ensures a consistent and controlled delivery of gases like natural gas, which is essential for maintaining the high temperatures required in glass melting. The float glass furnace is the heart of the production line, where raw materials are melted at temperatures around 1,600 degrees Celsius to create molten glass. Designed for durability and efficiency, Horn's float glass furnaces provide consistent heat distribution, minimizing energy consumption while maximizing output. The Horn Dual Flame Burner System is an innovative technology designed to enhance fuel combustion efficiency and reduce emissions. It allows for precise control over the flame characteristics, optimizing the melting process. The can reversing unit is an essential part of the furnace system, enabling the reversal of airflow within the furnace to maintain uniform temperature distribution. The Horn Stirrer Unit is used in the float glass process to homogenize the molten glass. This mechanical device stirs the glass melt, ensuring uniform composition and temperature throughout the furnace. 
The horn neck cooler is designed to manage the temperature of the glass as it exits the furnace. It cools the glass neck, the transition area between the furnace and the float bath, to prevent premature solidification and ensure smooth flow onto the tin bath. This cooling process is carefully controlled to maintain the desired viscosity of the glass. It precisely controls the thickness and width of the glass ribbon by adjusting the flow rate. The Tweel's accurate positioning is essential for producing glass with consistent dimensions, ensuring uniform quality across the entire production line. A quality control check involves systematic inspections and testing to ensure products or services meet specified standards. Cutting bridges refers to intentionally severing connections or relationships, often to end communication or eliminate dependencies. Google Cloud Text-to-Speech enables developers to synthesize natural-sounding speech with 100-plus voices, available in multiple languages and variants. It applies DeepMind's groundbreaking research in WaveNet and Google's powerful neural networks to deliver the highest fidelity possible. As an easy-to-use API, you can create lifelike interactions with your users across many applications and devices. Glass storage and packing require careful handling, using protective materials and secure packaging to prevent breakage during transportation or storage. The shipping area is a designated space where goods are prepared, packaged, labeled, and organized for distribution or delivery. Personal and artistic experience, blending the time-honored craft of glassblowing with the emotional significance of a unity ceremony. This process begins with the selection of frit, which is a granular form of glass that comes in a variety of colors and textures. For a unity vase, the bride and groom personally select the frit, often choosing colors that hold special meaning or symbolize their relationship. During the unity ceremony, the chosen frit is mixed together by the couple, symbolizing the blending of their lives and love. This moment becomes a physical representation of their union, as the combined frit is then sent back to Kokomo opalescent glass to be transformed into a stunning work of art. The glassblowing process itself is a mesmerizing art form. Skilled glassblowers Jeff and Ruth, with years of experience at Kokomo opalescent glass, take the blended frit and incorporate it into molten glass. With precision and care, they shape and blow the glass, manipulating the form and color to bring out the unique design and pattern that the couple's frit mixture creates. The glass is continuously heated and shaped, gradually evolving from a formless blob into a graceful, flowing vase. The final result is not just a decorative item, but a meaningful artifact that holds the essence of the couple's unity ceremony. Each unity vase is one of a kind, with a unique blend of colors and patterns reflecting the individuality of the couple who created it. This handcrafted piece of art serves as a lasting reminder of their special day, capturing the spirit of their union in a beautiful, tangible form.